Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can copy or clone parts of a video in Adobe Premiere. Now, if you're going out to film something like this, make sure to use a tripod so the background doesn't move and the only thing that moves is you or the subject in the screen. Okay, so here's that clip of me walking down the street and I want to clone myself. So the first thing you want to do is add a few video tracks. This should be fine. Um, and now we will have to copy this clip. So first thing is right click it and click on unlink. So the audio becomes separated from the video. And now hold alt, hold your left mouse button and just drag it up. And now to make things a little easier, first apply this effect called brightness and contrast. And we're just gonna drag the brightness up a little bit. That way it will be easier to see what we're doing. Now search for an effect called crop and drag it on the duplicated clip. All right, so now move this clip over the timeline. Okay, and now let's find the part where I appear in the screen. Maybe something like this is fine. And now we're gonna play around with the crop settings. You could also use a mask for this, and that's especially if you have to think about the horizontal parts as well. But in this video, we only have to worry about a vertical line shifting through the timeline. So um, yeah, just using the crop uh, left and right will be fine. So once you change the value, you can already see what's happening. And now all we have to do is create a lot of keyframes and keep changing the uh, value of the left part of the crop effect. And you have to repeat this process until you finish the whole clip. So um, I'm just gonna speed this up instead of showing you every keyframe I do. Okay, so at this point it's getting a little tricky and you can see things are starting to overlap. We don't want that, so I will have to move the clip back a bit so we have some more room to play with. Okay, and since the first clip now has ended, I will stop creating keyframes for the second clip and I'm just gonna trim this a bit. Now we can copy this again. And as you can see now there's three of me. Uh, this is going wrong, so I'll move this a bit. There we go. Now create a new item, create a color mat. Color doesn't really matter but I just use this so I can copy the timing for these clips like this. And now we can turn off the brightness effect for the two clips like so. And now we can copy it a few more times. Maybe one more time. Add another track and 
and copy it again. All right, just delete these color mats and uh, trim these clips. And this is our final result. Sorry if that's a bit laggy. I'm doing the screen recording and I'm also working with 4K clips, so that's quite heavy. But um, yeah, let me just show it one more time in full screen. So that's it guys. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions about this effect, drop a comment below. And if you like this stuff, hit that like button or just subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Rabbit can't feel that. Rabbit. Now what shows that? One, two, feel that.